So, you bought a cheapo backlit keyboard from our last guide. But come on, if you want to do anything other than sit in the dark playing Q-op, you're gonna need a hella wicked but bank account friendly gaming mouse to go with it, right? Well, turn out your pockets, rip up your seat cushions, and scrape out those cup holders, because kids, every gaming mouse in this roundup costs less than $15. Synergy is the amazing software that lets you share your mouse and keyboard between multiple computers. Check it out now at the link in the video description. First up at $9.99, we have the mouse known only as Sowtech, sporting the cheap and glossy Power Rangers look, which is totally in for spring 2017. But don't judge a mouse by its grease magnet fur. The Sowtech has the highest Amazon rating of any mouse in our roundup, boasting a max DPI of 3200, higher than the 2400 DPI of most of the competition, and it's the most symmetrical, ensuring apparently no fatigue, even for a long time use. The scroll wheel is unexceptional, a little mushy feeling, but the moderate to heavy right and left click feel very similar, indicating at least some consistency in the switch quality. The breathing LEDs provide visual feedback when stepping through the four DPI presets, and it even has a quality control past sticker. Although apparently you get one of these even if your mouse shows up broken. Sowtech never skimps on the included decals. The Havit MS672 from their Magic Eagle lineup is the glowiest mouse in the bunch, with as many as two colors shining at once. It's got a soft touch finish, and actually decent feeling build quality. From the heavier clicks to the multicolor woven braided cord, though it should be noted the mouse wheel appears to be a common problem. Ergonomics wise, if you've got uh, the Donald sized hands like me, you'll probably feel like you have to stretch to hit the side buttons, which, just like the Sowtech, are programmed backwards for some reason. And I also couldn't help noticing that the finger rests only really work at a bizarre, unnatural angle for my wrist, and that it's pretty hard to hold on to when lifting it off the mat. Ergonomics are not a strong point for this one. The cheapest mouse in our roundup is the Letton S20, which we got for, wow, $4.99. Though at this point, it's gone up to $9.99 on Amazon.com and what? $62 on Amazon.ca? Maybe that accounts for the effective antioxidant and electromagnetic ring to reduce radiation claims that they make on the product page. In all seriousness though, this one has an understated look that we appreciated, feels pretty good in a claw grip with the textured plastic sides and lightweight making liftoffs easy, and the medium weight clicks all felt consistent and pretty good. Almost letting us forgive the very short cord and the lack of advertised gold plating on the USB connector contacts. Time to kick it up a notch then with the Emarth Combatter Wing, or as I like to call it, the Cyborg Cant 9. The most aggressive looking and subjectively janky ass mouse in the pile. It's the heaviest wired mouse thanks to its steel based construction. It claims to have 10 programmable buttons. But if you don't count scroll wheel up and down, you get nine. And if you do, it's 11. So anyway, the default mapping is a bit weird too. I mean, who would want to go forward and back using these? How do you reach these no matter what you program them to? And on the subject of ergonomics, well, it's a low arched mouse targeting users with smaller hands. And it's got these springs to adjust the width of the... You know what, just forget it. It, what it gains in style points, it loses in points points. And mine came with a broken right click, so don't buy this thing. Moving on. 
The Red Dragon M601 Centrophorus is, shall we say, inspired by the MSI Interceptor and is the proud winner of several awards in our roundup here, including Best Unboxing Experience, Longest Cord, and Lowest Weight, or not. It's the only mouse that came with removable weights, though I almost broke my fingers trying to open the frickin' door. It's comfortable, the plastics feel quality, and it has a grippy finish on the medium weight right and left click that'll be nice while it lasts. Overall, this one came away with top marks during our tests, but your mileage may vary. We did find complaints online about short connectivity hiccups every few minutes. Onto the only mouse without a braided cable, or any cable. The EagleTech MG001 is a wireless gaming mouse for $13.99. It's got a high arch for large hands and Though all of our mice feature toggleable DPI settings, this is the only one with dedicated buttons for up and down. It's got three side buttons, which are easy to reach and mapped to control alt and shift by default for some reason. That'll need to be remapped with a third party tool me thinks. It's got a battery saving non LED mode and believe it or not, not only was it subjectively the most comfortable mouse in our roundup, it performed the best in our Counter-Strike test, with its input lag not being noticeably worse than any of our other mice here, and 2 meter per second maximum tracking speed being the best. Speaking of best, the Bestly ZM700 gaming mouse is a decent all-rounder, especially if you have longer fingers. With breathing LEDs that cycle according to DPI, or that can be set to a solid color of your choice, including pink, using the included software. It's got a simple base design with a couple of flares, a thumb and a pinky pad that helps it glide around. And it's got these sort of dark night bearing things that could probably poke your eye out. It's reasonably comfortable and every button but the left click is programmable. Unfortunately, it was the only mouse to fail our glossy conference room table test. And as for the advertised weight tuning system, there's nothing built in, so the expectation seems to be that you're going to uh, DIY it. Bringing us finally to the highest resolution mouse in town. Zelotes 550 DPI gaming mouse for pro gamers, AKA the T80 Big Mac. I think unexceptional summarizes this one pretty well. Its size makes it suitable for medium to large hands. It's got a competitive gamery look and a pinky rest mostly delivering on its promises of built weight iron, feel comfortable, mobile and stability. And it also has this nifty double click button, but I'm personally not convinced that moving my finger over to click it is actually any faster than simply clicking the medium weight left click twice. So which one should you buy then? Let's get this out of the way first. If you're a low sensitivity gamer, none of them. Ed, our resident CSGO player, gave every single one of our mice a fail in the tracking speed department, with all but one of them coming in at under 1.5 meters per second maximum. With that said, he didn't notice any obvious latency or accuracy issues, so they should be okay for casual use in other games or for higher sensitivity players. So with that in mind then, the Eagle Tech Wireless works pretty well and runs on standard AA batteries if you don't mind the extra weight and the expense associated with that. If you like a simpler mouse, the Letton checks all the boxes for us. This was my personal favorite of all the wired choices. And if you're looking for something a little more aggressive looking, the Red Dragon is probably the most bang for your buck. Just bear in mind that with any of these choices, you might not get the same kind of longevity that you might expect from a higher end gaming mouse from a respectable brand. Synergy is an amazingly elegant solution to the problem of having too many keyboards and mice on your desk. Do you, for some reason, have more than one computer? Maybe you need a different OS for a development environment, or maybe you've got a laptop and a desktop, whatever the case may be. With Synergy, you can use just one keyboard and one mouse, 
and you can actually share them effortlessly between both or even more computers. It's supported on Windows, Mac, and even Linux, and they've got a couple of different versions depending on all the features you need. And you can get stuff like clipboard sharing between the computers, dragging and dropping files between them, the ability to set up hotkeys, and more. So check out the link in the video description to get 25% off Synergy today. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, and check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured at Amazon in the video description. Also down there is a link to our merch store, which is full of cool stuff like this, as well as our community forum, which is full of cool people like you.